Hey everybody, welcome back to a new NetTouch video quick tip. This one came as a request on Twitter, so if you ever have any tutorial or screencast requests, just visit us at twitter.com slash NetTouch and tweet me, and I will try to work it into the schedule if we can. This one we're going to talk about JavaScript hoisting. So what is hoisting? It sounds like a scary word, and truthfully, I don't even think it's uh, technically an ECMAScript term. It's just a word that we use to refer to the fact that uh, variables are hoisted to the top of their containing scope. So let's go into this and take a look. All right, so I'm going to create a function. Or first, let's create a variable, and we'll call it my var equals my value. All right, so let's just take it one step at a time. Of course, if we alert my var, it's going to alert my value. OK, of course. So let's change this. And now let's run a function. So we'll create an immediate function. Uh, this is just a pattern. Uh, you might have heard heard it referred to as like a self-invoking function or a self-executing function. Uh, anyways, it's just a function that will run automatically. So let's now do something like this. Alert my var. Do you think it's going to alert the same thing? Let's check. Yes, of course it does. But check this out. If you change this, and now we're going to say even below it, let's put it below, and say var, my var. Now we're creating a local variable. Variable equals local value. Now what do you think is going to happen? So we declare it at the top, and we initialize it to my value. And then we create a, a function that will run automatically, and we alert it. So you would think, OK, well, this hasn't been declared just yet. So we're going to alert it. It's going to alert my value. And then why don't we do this exact same thing and um, we'll paste that in right there. So if you want pause, see what you think is going to happen. And if I run it, we get undefined. Interesting, but local value the next time. So how come before, like if I comment this out, we get my value, my value. So when we uncomment this, it changes. How come? And it's because variables and uh, some kind of functions get hoisted to the top of their scope. So don't let the word hoist confuse you. All it does is basically behind the scenes, if you have a variable declared anywhere within a, a function scope, it's going to be brought to the very top, but just the declaration, not the initialization. So for example, behind the scenes, what would be happening in this case is at the top, it would do behind the scenes var my var. And this is called declaration. It declares the variable at the top. And if you notice, uh, if you ever read anything like JavaScript, the good parts, he always recommends you place all your variables at the top of a function. Uh, and this is to, because it's happening behind the scenes anyways, and it's also a good practice because uh, you don't have to write the word var as many times, and it prevents you from any kind of issues that you may come into play with. So behind the scenes, it declares it, and then at the bottom, right here, it would change that. So change word. Then it would initialize it. So initialization is when uh, a value is applied to it. Declaration is when the variable is declared. So that's what's happening behind the scenes. So to reiterate, again, if you have uh, variable declarations scattered throughout your function, get rid of those. Take them and at least declare them all the way at the top of your function. This is a best practice and it's what you should be doing. Now, another interesting note is that functions are hoisted to the top too, but not function expressions. So um, let's try, uh, let's do a new function, new function. And all we're going to do here is alert hello world. So let's go to the top and call this function even though we haven't uh, created it yet. So new function and see what we get. Aha, hello world. So the function was hoisted to the top as well. We refer to these types of functions as function declarations, but also you have function expressions. So for example, if I instead do the expression form, which would be var new function equals function, and then we do the exact same thing. Check this out, hello world. And then let's just get rid of this really quickly. Let's run this in the browser again, and we get nothing. And this is because function expressions, the name uh, gets declared, it gets hoisted to the top, but not the implementation. So I'm out of time. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. Bye.